What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay, your registered nurse here. And we back with another one, baby. I'm actually dipping out, or shit, I'm trying to. This is a crazy weather storm in New York. But I'm going on a little vacay, and I was tired of wolfing this out. Like, it was getting a little crazy. One of good pictures, you know what I'm saying? These are lifetime memories. So as you can see by the title, I did a little haircut. And honestly, this is the best haircut ever because it put me in position to see my progress. And also, it's a perfect example of you know what I mean? The slow grind and, and the baby hairs and patience and everything. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see, man. I'm excited. You could tell in my energy, boy. I'm excited. Bro. Listen, let me chill out. Let me chill out. Let's catch a video. <laughs> <laughs>
So as you can see, I did the haircut, you know what I'm saying? At a point, I thought I messed up. I was tight, bro. I was, you know what I'm saying? But you got to trust the process, man. Like, I've been cutting hair for a minute, so I knew I wasn't going to end up looking crazy. But sometimes you got to adjust with the hair. Like, my hair is so curly now that when I went over it with the guard, my hair, all of this, all of my curly hair, like that whole portion came off, even though it was a high guard, you know what I'm saying? So it's all a learning process on how to cut it, the patience, everything like that. You know what I mean? But it's definitely ain't nothing normal, but I'm loving every second of it. Man, we're going to get right into this. It's enough talking. I ain't come here for that. You know what I'm saying? So this is the week that marks five months. All right? It's not five months yet. I think five months would be on Saturday. But I didn't, I, I didn't want to be on vacation trying to post a video too heavy, which I probably still will. But I just wanted to give y'all a clean, nice, well put together video. So this is the week of five months with a haircut. Shit, bro. Let's get it. Woo! I ain't have the applause in a minute, but y'all gonna hear it. First of all, shout out to all the new subscribers. Thanks for anyone who's been rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? It's not only this hair transplant. Y'all here for a vibe. Y'all here for good energy, positivity, and forward thinking. And also, all that other little shit I do, vacation hauls, all that stuff, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with good life, Joe. Anyway, back to this hair, bro. Like, y'all see the energy. Let me chill. Let me chill, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to be modest. You got to be, you definitely got to be reserved, you know what I mean? Because hair loss, the journey in hair loss is crazy, bro. Like, that's all I can say. I've been, I've done everything. I've done PRP without a hair transplant. You know what I'm saying? I've done minoxidil. I've looked into finasteride. My, my boy took finasteride. I did SMP. You know what I'm saying? So I understand everybody who's going through it. And I did, just, I went bald for like four years and I was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? But to each their own in this journey. You know what I'm saying? If you want to cut your hair and just go bald, do your thing, man. Live your peace. If you want to get SMP, do your thing, man. Live your peace. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get a hair transplant, by all means, live your peace. But any which way you go, just be educated. You want to take finasteride? No problem. Look up the signs and symptoms that it may have if 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 you have bad effects towards it. If you want to do minoxidil, look at the possible side effects you could have or complications, like heart palpitations, all this shit. Like you might end up being in that percentile if you have heart conditions pre-exposed or pre, you know, like if you already have that. So I always say educate yourself, stay woke in your own situation. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we're here for each other. That's why we have this community. But golly, that's a lot of talking. Let me show you this close up. <laughs> so this is the front. So the top. This is the left side. This is the right side. Back. It's the back brush. And what I did for this haircut is I tried to even out my naturally growing hair with the transplanted uh, complexion and area. So I took it down to about a half guard on this portion and cleaned up the back and I evened it out. I tried to even it out a little bit with my crown as well. It's hard, man. It's not, it's definitely not easy. It took a lot of time, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna show you the crown from the middle on this side. So you can see the light spot is right here. You know what I'm saying? I took my time and I looked at my dad's head oh, like a week ago. And he still has some hair here. And my brother as well. Like it's just very fine hair, like baby hair. So I'm hoping that that's the case for me because if that is, I'm okay with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it just doesn't get crazy and go flat ball, like clean. But you know, you always gotta look at your family to see where they're balding. But this is the front brush. And my light spots are right here. And of course this portion, I didn't really get grafts done here, but I had a lot of grafts here. So I really want this area to grow. Prior to the, uh, the haircut, you can see in the video, I'll try to link a picture that all of this right here is light. 
know what I'm saying? Or was. It's hard to see now because I cut it down to a, a nice, beautiful, even level. I think on the top, I went with with the green um, at a one, a one guard or a one and a half guard. I did it interchangeably. And on the sides, I did a half guard. Um, actually, yeah, I did a half, I did a zero and a half guard on the sides to even it out with the donor area. So as you can see, it's not too much of a complexion difference. It's very similar. And what I did was I kind of just, I didn't even do a fade. I just used the guard and I went against the grain um, with the guard all the way closed to try to get uh, this portion out to even out with the de demarcated, um, you know, extractions right here, as well as on this side. So, and then once you just add your, you know, your shape up line, it kind of brings everything in and it just makes it mesh really well. But ultimately, man, this is, this is really a mental health journey. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when I started for my first video, if I have zero results, I'm gonna talk about it. And I said, I'll post frequently. I'll talk about it and I won't stop. You know what I'm saying? So two, three, four years down the line, I'm gonna still be talking to y'all because we don't have, you know, people after the transplant five years down the line, they still putting out content. So basically I just wanna be consistent. Of course, I still got the hauls and you know, I'm gonna do some other things, some product reviews. Etc. and vacations, but I appreciate y'all rocking with Good Life Joe, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I appreciate the hate. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the day ones. I appreciate the people who just came right now, you know what I'm saying? But that's a family, you feel me? That's why I really say this a family, because, you know, we really talk. Like, we really be getting crazy in the comments, and, and I'm a comment person. Like, I love it. I be showing, I be showing my people, like, yo, this is hilarious. Look at this. So, ultimately, man, I just appreciate the fact that it's a comfortable environment now and I see new people doing their journeys and I see y'all, man. I see everybody and I be trying to drop a comment and like and I'm watching everything. Like, it's so dope. The fact that we got a community and it's more comfortable now, more people are putting it out. Man, that's love right there, man. Ultimately, do your thing, live your peace, chest your happiness, you feel me? And stay positive, number four, with thinking good vibes and good energy. It's your boy, Jay, your registered nurse. I'm gonna catch y'all on that next video. Peace.